What's up guys, in this video I'm going to go over the simulated universe, what it is, how it works, and what to expect. So the simulated universe is a dungeon that resets on a timer. Currently it's on a one week timer, but we don't know what that will be for release. So the simulated universe is a dungeon made up of two modes, exploration mode and challenge mode. So you start your run in exploration mode, and when you start your run you start with three characters only. The goal of the simulated universe is to finish exploration mode, save all of your blessings and buffs to a save file, which we'll go over it later, and then challenge a boss in challenge mode with all of the blessings and characters that you accumulate. So in the simulated universe, there are cosmic fragments, which is a currency that only exists in your run. You get these by defeating enemies, destroying breakables, and opening chests. So you collect these cosmic fragments to purchase buffs, but more on that later. So, there's three types of buffs in the simulated universe. First, there are blessings, then curios, and then codes. So after you finish an encounter with an enemy, you'll be given two random blessings to choose from. These blessings have different rarities, and they all apply different buffs to your characters. Also, you have the option to re-roll your blessings with your cosmic fragments. In between each floor is a rest stop. Here is where you'll buy curios. Curios can give you extra buffs, as well as blessings, code, and cosmic fragments. Some of these are pretty useless, but some are also pretty good. Alright, lastly, our third way to get buffs are codes. You get these by exploring, opening chests, defeating enemies, or from the dungeon rest stop. There are different rarities of codes. Depending on the type and rarity of the code, they'll have a success rate. So you need to find the controller on each floor. In each floor, you have three attempts to run a code to obtain a blessing. Alright, next up is Eon Intervention Level. So as you defeat enemies in the simulated universe, this will level up your Eon Intervention level. Your Eon Intervention level are periodic interferences that will help you. This Eon Intervention level levels up across runs, over multiple runs, and it resets whenever the weekly dungeon resets. So if you do a lot of runs, you can start a new run on Eon Intervention level 5. So as you saw, when you start in exploration mode, you start with 3 characters initially. In order to get more characters, you have to find a downloader, and there will be one enemy guarding it that you have to defeat in order to unlock the downloader. After that, you can add a fourth character to your squad, and there are even more downloaders on further floors. After that, you can cycle through all the characters you've unlocked within that specific run. Sometimes you can find random characters throughout the floor. If you go up to them and talk to them, they'll give you one random buff to choose from. Alright, so rewards. What do you get for rewards for the simulated universe? There are these periodic assignments, which refresh when the dungeon refreshes. So these refresh on whatever timer the dungeon will be. You have different rewards for exploration mode, and then you have a separate set of rewards for challenge mode. Your exploration rewards are all about running code, getting blessings, defeating enemies. Whereas your challenge assignments are all about the score system. So this score that you get rewarded for is based off of these target objectives that switch with the dungeon refresh. So in the simulated universe, there are two exclusive currencies that you get as a reward. First, there are Herda Bonds, and there are Collector Coins. Herda Bonds can be used in her store. You can buy characters, relics, and other materials. And the Collector Coins are used in this machine to the left. You can use this to roll for specific materials that are in the machine. You can change them or draw as you do at once. Here are the items in the machine, but these are subject to change. If there's a material you need, you can select it from the wish list, and for the first 50 draws of the reset, you'll get a higher drop rate for those items. Alright, that's everything for the simulator universe. Remember, this is closed beta, we don't know what the time frame will be when this will reset. We don't know what will change between now and release. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below. And if you liked the video, consider subscribing. And check me out on Twitch, I'll be testing out 5 star characters every day until close bit ends. Thanks, see ya.